Hello, I'm Joshua Brown from the expert interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your operations research analyst job interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any organization worldwide, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I promise to help you succeed at that first attempt. To achieve that goal, I'll start off by giving you a list of operations research analyst interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to ensure you succeed at that first attempt. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your operations research analyst interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 30 great answers to operations research analyst interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest operations research analyst interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Oh, and don't forget to let me know where you are applying and I can get back to you with even more tailored interview tips and advice. Let's dive straight in to that first interview question. Tell me about yourself, or it may be phrased as introduce yourself. Now this is a brilliant opportunity for you to get your interview off to a flying start and really impress the hiring manager. You can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the skills and qualities that you have. Do not talk about your home life or your personal life unless it's relevant to the job role itself. Focus on your relevant work experience, your relevant academic experience, and your passion for working in this role as an operations research analyst. And don't forget to mention how you're going to add value to their team. How are you going to add value to the organization in this job role? Now, a really simple and easy way to do all of those things I've just mentioned is to make sure you study the job description in detail before your interview and focus on telling the hiring manager how your skills are a perfect match to those that they desire. So for example, if on the job description, it states they're seeking someone who is analytical with great communication abilities, then throughout your operations research analyst interview answers, be sure to say those exact terms and back it up with examples of where you've previously demonstrated those skills and qualities. Okay, let's now take a look at my brilliant top scoring answer to help you be the standout candidate. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to interview for this position today. As an operations research analyst with a strong background in data analysis and optimization, I thrive on solving complex business problems using mathematical models and statistical techniques. I have experience in identifying inefficiencies, analyzing data, and developing decision-making frameworks that help organizations streamline operations and make data-driven decisions. I'm proficient in using tools like Excel, Python, and specialized software such as MATLAB and R to model and simulate various scenarios. My passion for continuous learning has led me to stay updated on the latest trends in operations research, such as machine learning and predictive analytics. I'm driven by the desire to provide actionable insights that improve productivity and enhance overall business performance. I'm excited to apply my skills in operations optimization and strategic analysis to help your organization achieve its goals. Now that is a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be the standout candidate. Remember, by giving a confident answer like this to that opening interview question, not only will you impress the hiring manager, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your answers to come. Okay, let's take a look at the next operations research analyst interview question. Describe a challenging issue you resolve by applying operations research methods. Now, this is a great question that assesses your problem solving ability and how you apply operations research techniques in real world situations. My top tip here when answering any type of behavioral interview question like this. So a behavioral question where you need to draw on your previous experience, such as describe a time when, or can you explain to me a situation when you face this, or tell me about a time when. Any question like that is a behavioral question, and I recommend you structure your answer using the STAR method, S-T-A-R-R. -R. Now the STAR method is a brilliant way to structure your answer, and you start by describing the situation you found yourself in. S is for situation. You then move on to T for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? The first R is for result. 
what was the end result following your actions? Make sure it's always a positive end result. And finally, the final R is for reflection. What did you learn from this experience? Now let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to this question using that star structure. Describe a challenging issue you resolved by applying operations research methods. In my previous role, our logistics team faced high transportation costs due to inefficient delivery routes across multiple distribution centers. This inefficiency was negatively impacting our overall operational budget. I was tasked with finding a way to optimize the delivery routes to minimize costs while maintaining delivery schedules. I applied linear programming techniques to model the transportation network and identify cost-effective routes. Using tools like Excel Solver, I analyzed various constraints such as delivery time, vehicle capacity and fuel costs. I ran multiple simulations to find the optimal solution that minimized expenses. By implementing the optimized delivery routes, we reduced transportation costs by 15% without compromising delivery timelines. The solution also improved overall route efficiency, leading to better resource utilization. This experience reinforced the value of data-driven decision-making and demonstrated how operations research techniques can significantly enhance business efficiency. Now don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more interview questions and answers to give you in this video. But when you're ready, and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below the video. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 30 operations research analyst interview questions and answers in a PDF guide. Okay, let's move on to the next question. How do you ensure the accuracy and reliability of your models? Now the interviewer wants to know how meticulous you are in developing reliable models and ensuring their accuracy in decision making. So make sure in your answer, you emphasize data validation, sensitivity analysis, historical testing, and collaboration with experts to show a thorough methodical approach to ensuring model reliability. Here is my brilliant top scoring answer to help you. How do you ensure the accuracy and reliability of your models? To ensure the accuracy and reliability of my models, I follow a structured process. First, I validate the input data by cleaning and checking for inconsistencies or outliers. I then collaborate with subject matter experts to ensure the data and assumptions are representative of real world conditions. Next, I perform sensitivity analysis to test how changes in key variables impact the model's results, ensuring robustness under different scenarios. I also run the model on historical data to assess its predictive accuracy, comparing the output with known outcomes. Throughout this process, I maintain detailed documentation to track assumptions, methods, and any adjustments made. Finally, I communicate with stakeholders for feedback, refining the model based on real-time results. This iterative approach helps maintain both the accuracy and reliability of the models in delivering actionable insights. Okay, here's the next question. Why should we hire you as our operations research analyst? So many people don't prepare properly for this question, but it's vital. You're being asked this question because they want to assess your ability to communicate your unique value. And in your answer, you must be able to demonstrate how your skills will benefit the organization. So here's my tip. Focus on a blend of technical expertise, problem solving ability, and the practical impact of your solutions that they've had previously on business performance so you can make a compelling case for your candidacy. Here is my brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Why should we hire you as our operations research analyst? You should hire me as your operations research analyst because I bring a strong blend of analytical expertise, problem solving skills, and a passion for optimizing business operations. My experience in applying operations research techniques, such as linear programming, simulation, and statistical analysis has consistently delivered measurable improvements in efficiency and cost savings. I'm proficient in using tools like Excel, Python, and specialized software such as MATLAB to build and validate models. What sets me apart is my ability to translate complex mathematical models into actionable insights that align with business goals. I thrive in collaborating with cross-functional teams to ensure that my solutions are practical and results-driven. My proactive approach 
combined with a deep understanding of operations research methods, makes me confident that I can bring significant value to your organization by solving complex challenges and improving decision making. Now, in preparation for your operations research analyst interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. How do you handle large data sets when building models? How do you explain the difference between linear programming and simulation? How do you prioritize competing projects or tasks in your role? How do you communicate complex model results to non-technical stakeholders? Can you explain a time when your analysis led to a change in business strategy? What is your biggest weakness? Where do you see yourself in five years? Why do you want to work for us? How do you manage stakeholder expectations during a project? How do you approach decision-making when data is incomplete or uncertain? How do you handle tight deadlines in complex projects? How do you handle mistakes in your analysis? So they are just some of the questions that you should be preparing for. But if you want to get the full list of all 30 operations research analyst interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video or in the pinned comment below for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, we can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 30 brilliant responses to operations research analyst interview questions in a PDF guide. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your operations research analyst interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put your head of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. If you have any questions regarding any specific job role or company or organization, do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.